we are asked to select the diagram that represents 1 sixth times 1 fourth. So why don't you pause this video, have a go at it before we do this together. Okay, before I even look at these choices, I could think about what this might look like. So if I had a square unit, I'm just going to hand draw it so it's a little bit shaky here. So I could imagine having 1 sixth on this on the left side and then 1 fourth on top. So how would I do that? So I would divide it into six equal sections horizontally. So I could do it like this. So it could look something like this, where each of these is 1 sixth. And then I'm going to multiply, and maybe I would, I would put that maybe in that color. And then in the other direction, I would divide it into fourths. So let's see, that's about half. And then I will put those in half to get fourths. So 1 sixth times 1 fourth. And so the fourth, let me do this in a light color so it doesn't it doesn't right over, it would be that, well, let me do it in a color that you can actually see. It might be all of that right over there. And then their overlap would be right over here. So this would be 1 sixth times 1 fourth, and that's actually 1 24th of this entire square. So let's see, do I see anything that looks like that? Let's see, this first one looks like 1 fourth times 1 fourth, that's not right. This one looks like 1 sixth, because this is a sixth right here, but it's 1 sixth times 1 half because in this direction we're only split into two. This one over here doesn't look like what we did, but if we turn it around and if we, if we do it the other way, where if we divide it into fourths on horizontally and then into sixths vertically, it looks a lot like choice C. So if I divide it into sixths here, so if I had a fourth, times a sixth, a fourth would be that entire row, a sixth would be this entire column. When you take their product, you would get that shaded area, which is exactly what they did in choice C. So this is one fourth times one sixth, and you get that shaded area. So I like choice C 